denture copy has two different options. So the first denture copy, we can make in exactly same as a scanned denture, which is copy exactly same as tissues, intaglio, and even teeth. And it will coming out as a one piece, okay? And then the second way, what we can make it is copy exactly same, but we can take pink and teeth separate out. Let's go over with the first one first, because this is very simple and easy. So in the work order here, I made a denture copy number one. Just click one of two on the upper. Just go to Gingiva, click denture copy. And that's it, simple. Hit OK, import the denture file, which is a one piece denture, hit OK, and it will bring into the design software. Very simple step, only two step we will have. First, it's just open. Second, we can modify a little bit. And third is save, okay? Let's see how we work. Okay, so we are in the design. It asks us like auto, uh, I'm sorry, cruiser alignment, not super needed. And once we just get into scuffed upper jaw, and also let me turn the color off, just we will have sculpting tools, wax knife, remove artifact, even remove the tooth. We may not need it, but again, this is from chair side intro scanner. So if you see all around, it may have some bubble or impression, extra impression could coming out, some rough surface we could have. If you can see that using a wax knife or other tools to smoothing out. So copy exactly venture meaning is most important thing is how much quality of the denture skin from the clinic side. So if you have some bad quality of the skin file from your doctor, let doctor see the digital highlight channel, okay? All right, so this is it. And we can go to save and you can have the STL. So let's see, let's go over with the second option, which is denture copy, but with separate out the teeth because we want to make two different color of the denture, pink for pink, teeth for teeth. So in work order, I'm going to click same button, just click upper teeth and gingiva, denture copy, plus go to anatomy button here. So once we click this, it will make the artificial two separately, okay? And one more thing here, usually when we design the digital full denture design, we always make sure go to plus button to make sure type as a mono or a teeth with a separate pink. We should click that. But for this option, we don't have to just leave this as a denture copy. Okay. Let me hit OK. Import same full denture one piece file. So far, it should be okay, right? And once I get into design, it will give us a few more steps, okay? Let's see. Same as the first one, occlusion alignment, not so really need, but in this one, let's make sure, do some checking occlusion alignment. If it's not worked with, Red dot, I can go to occlusion view with a set from view button or set with point one and two, three, like this and modify quick and easy. Okay. For this one, we need to make sure some good direction because when we create, when we create the teeth separating out, uh, we should create some extension of the uh, the tooth bonded area, I can show you next step. So we want to make good occlusion plane or good direction. Okay. Let me turn the color off again. 
if need to use, using some tools to making smoothing or more detail. Okay, maybe you could have some question. Oh, Jack, can you change like tools library here? Nope. Jack, can you move the tools position? Nope. We can just modify with a wax knife a little bit and that's it. Okay. So let's say we make some smooth and also in this same time, mostly the old denture, maybe we cannot see some um, cervical line, especially on the lingual side. If you cannot see that well, please make sure use weed wax knife to make sure the line of cervical here. Okay. This will be to sectional line. If I go to next, system ask us, where is it to number 17, meaning is for us number two. Okay, just click the to number on the closer. I'm sorry, this is the um, FDI numbering system, but in the United States, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten through 14 and 15. Once I go next, three shape detecting all the tooth separately, 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 boom, boom, boom. Okay. Section on out first. And if you see the left bottom here, holy, we don't have to select the tooth bridge segmentation in the work order because we can do on here. So let's say if I click the first one, group in three blocks, meaning is Posterior, anterior, posterior, three different sections. System will create again like this. Posterior, section, anterior, section, and posterior. Or one piece, two piece, and four piece, all possible. Okay. Let's just keep going with three pieces one. Just go next. Three shape will segmentate out all the keys from the base. And we need to do just a few more steps. So far easy, right? So far easy. Here, maybe I can tell you. Doctor said everything's good except little bit of facial contour, little bit of incisor edges, little bit of cuss tip. So doctor said, could you just keep everything same, but just make a little bit more anatomies there? Then we have two different options. We can do within sculpting tool to make a little better anatomies. Or if you feel more comfortable with your hand and wax, why not? You do wax up on here, it's possible. But important thing is we don't have denture on our side, right? So sometime if on chair side, everything's good, want to make a little longer, bigger tooth, on chair side, they can do modify a little bit. Or if you got this from the doctor's office, even you can do wax up on here, copy scan. Your three shape scanner has a copy denture option exactly same as this. Okay. Let me keep going with the design. So just, I just explain, use wax knife. We can just add a little bit. If one, two, okay, like this is a possible and like line angles, we can make some better inside the edges. We can add a little more better. Okay. And morphing tool we can use in it. Okay. Let's say once you like this, let me just tool an eight and nine only. We can go next stage to same thing for sculpting denture base too. We can use a morphing tool, more root form up right here, or using wax knife, add a little more material on the cervical is it possible. All right, and using minus tool to click clear out. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little quick design because 
I want to make like good video a lot. So I cannot just go step by step for this one. Okay. But other video for implant design, more coming, please. Just keep subscribing and don't forget thumb up. Okay. So once you go like it, go to coupling mechanism. If you don't have uh, like many experience with a uh, digital denture, please remember this coupling mechanism. Because let's say pink and teeth, we have a separate file out, we should bond each other, right? So for making bond each other, this coupling mechanism will create some extension underneath of the two cervical. So here, this purple tool is for direction for this four unit bridge for the posterior teeth, okay? And here coupling depth is how much we want to make extension underneath of the pink. This can be up to, I think, is it three? Three is, I think, max. Yeah, three millimeters max. Coupling angle, 10 degree, so far as the default. If it's set as a zero, it may very ideal in our brain by computer, but in reality, it will be very tight to put it in. So 10 or a little more is okay to go in, but uh, don't go up to like 20 to 30 degree because if taper bottom meaning is easy to come up. Okay, so just leave it as a 10 degree. And let me just try to click preview. and show you how it worked. Anatomy, produce the danger base. Hit OK. If we have some artifact here, can you see that? It's giving us some kind of warning here, but can you see that? This pop lines, it creates 10 degree of three millimeter extension in the need of the teeth. After mill's done, it will create the bottom base, like on base side, will will have some socket there, to which exactly fit there. Okay. And then we'll go next. Hit OK. Yes. Next one. Direction is already looks good. Go next. Here's another tip is when we have sculpting for the uh, very beginning, or lingual side, if you make a little extend cervical line with your wax knife, you can expect more uh, better retention on the lingual side too on this spot. Okay. All right. And let's see how they work. Okay. There's extension and the other side too. Once I go next, you will create, remove out all the undercut and extend three millimeter bottom and these are already here once we go next it will all clean up and make the socket out we are ready so here finally we have a denture base with a socket and separate denture teeth here okay so once you save it out Mine is a demo dong, so it's a not save, but yours, yes, you have it. So you will have two separate STL, which is for teeth and pink base separately. So these two can milled out or print out. On left side here, you can see some glue space, okay? If you want to mill or print, this number has to be different. I cannot say what exactly number will work fine, but Usually I can say for milled one and glue space uh, 0.1 through 0.15 work fine. You should make sure drill compensation and drill radius has to be on because you're going to mill it. But if you're going to print it out, you can bring that number down until 0 0.02 to 3, 0, 0, 0.02 or 0 0.03. You can turn drill compensation off. But to me, a little small tip, I leave it at the drill compensation because drill compensation always make little uh, the bottom notches, bottom corner images. But that corner images will make us kind of like a 
glue space. We need a glue space anyway, even with print or mill. So for me, if you see right bottom here, this small space is for me is for glue space. Okay. This is it. So I hope it's uh, helpful for you for who doing start the digital adventure with your tree shape. Hope you enjoy your tree shape. Hope you enjoy your life. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. I certainly enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to Digital Highlight and hit the like button to support Jack.